In today's session, we're going to see how we can restart a simulation in Altair Access. To do this, we're going to use a very simple manifold model with one inlet and three outlets, but this is irrelevant since the restart process will be exactly the same for any model. The first thing we are going to do is to export the solver input file from Hyperworks CFD and run this example simulation in the cluster. To do this, we'll go to the Solution tab under the Run ribbon. We will set an appropriate name and we will make sure that the actual version is exactly the same as the one that we have in the cluster. And we will simply press Export here. After the export has finished, we will see a message on the bottom left of the page saying export completed successfully. And if we navigate to the problem directory, we will see the actual input file and the mesh.dir. We will now jump into Walter Access and uh, submit this example simulation. Here we have to put the input file. and here the mesh.dir in a zipped format. Set a job name of your preference, and then submit the job. The moment we press submit, we see that the new folder is generated with the date, and if we get outside at the jobs dashboard, we can see that we have a manifold steady simulation running. We can double click and see the uh, output. If we open the IQSOV log file and get to the end, we see that uh, the IQSOV simulation took 100 time steps, so the maximum default time steps, and still hasn't converged. This rarely happens with IQSOV since it usually converges before 100 time steps. But let's say now that we want to restart the simulation, let it run for another 100 time steps to permit more time for it to converge. To do this, we will go back to the location of the ANP. We will create a duplicate of this ANP. Rename it with the name of your preference. In this case, I will call it Manifold Steady 200 Iterations Restart. And then inside this INP, we will set the settings of the restart simulation. In this case, we said that we want the simulation to run for another 100 time steps, so I will leave this as 100. And we also want it to restart from the last time step of the previous simulation. To do this, we have to place the restart command right at the end of the INP and before the run command. Inside this restart command, we have to specify the settings of the restart. To find out which settings are appropriate for my case, I will just go to the actual help page and find the documentation for this command. Here we can find a description for all the settings that the restart command can take and several examples. In the current restart simulation, we will just write down the type, the problem name and the problem directory. A restart of type full basically means that we take the variables uh, of the previous simulation like velocity, pressure, turbulence and so on and we do not take all the settings of the previous simulation. The settings of the previous simulation, like boundary conditions and material properties, are discarded and instead the settings of the new INP file will be used. For problem name, we just need to type the INP name of the previous simulation, in this case manifold steady, and 
in directory name we have to type the uh, path, the absolute path of the accusim.dir directory from, for the previous simulation. To find this path, we can go to the output directory of the previous simulation. And copy paste the path from here. We can now just save this new ANP and navigate to the jobs dashboard to submit the new job. It will set here the ANP of the new simulation and we will keep exactly the same mess. As job name, we will just type manifold steady 200 iterations restart. We can see that a new folder is created with this new name and see the new job. Navigate to the log file. And the first thing that we want to check here is basically whether the restart command was processed uh, correctly. In this case, we can see that the step, the last step of the previous simulation was taken as a start point. And if we navigate to the beginning of the time stepping down here, we can see that the simulation started from time step 100 and then continues to march in time until time step 200 or until convergence is achieved. Now the same exact procedure can be followed whenever we want to do any small change in the simulation and then restart it. When we want to do numerous changes to the simulation, then it probably makes more sense to go back to Hyperbox CFD, re-export the INP, upload it again to the cluster and then restart the job. A usual scenario where we want to apply several changes to the model and restart from a finished steady state simulation is when we want to do a transient frozen flow simulation. In such a case, the aim is basically to map the flow results of the steady state solution to the transient run and then deactivate the flow solver and solve only for the thermal component of the problem. So let's see how we can do the restart process for such a scenario. We first need to go back to Hyperbox CFD and change the flow solution from steady state to transient. Then also enable heat transfer and make sure to deactivate the flow solver under the solver control options. Then we will make some changes to the boundary conditions by setting a high temperature for the inlet and also defining a no slip wall that will apply a lower temperature of 250 degrees for some parts of the wall here. After defining all the settings of the uh, trains in the frozen flow simulation, we'll just go to the run ribbon here, change the name of the problem, find a new problem directory, with a new name just to make sure that we have everything separately. And then export the INP. After exporting the INP, we will just zip the new mesh.dir folder just to be able to upload it to the cluster and then jump into outer axis to submit a new Akisol job. In here, we'll just create a new folder just to have everything separately for the transient frozen flow simulation. 
in here, we'll just upload the new INP and the new mesh.dir file. And then navigate to the INP and make sure to enter the restart command at the end. In this case, I will choose to restart from the first steady state simulation that we submitted with the 100 iterations. So I will just copy paste the restart command we used previously. So we will have again a restart of type full, which means that we discard the settings of the previous simulation and we only read the solution variables like pressure and velocity. And for problem and directory names, we will set again the name and the directory of the very first simulation that we submitted. Besides these settings, we will also enable the reset time step option, which basically means that we discard the time step count of the previous simulation and we start the new simulation from time step zero. And this is important for a transient simulation because we wanted to start from a physical time of zero seconds and then march in time. After setting all the restart options, we'll just go outside and submit the job. After submitting the job, the first thing that we have to do again is go to the log file of the new simulation and check whether the restart was processed correctly. So again, we navigate here and we want to see processing restart and we want to read the last time step of the previous simulation. And if we scroll down, we will see that the simulation, the trends in simulation, started from time step one and physical time zero as we intended. Which concludes our session for today, where we showed how to restart the simulation in Alter Access.